the most terrifying things that happened in Unit 731. Human experimentation has been a part of scientific discussion for quite some time now. From the movies we see, either from American cinema or any other, one thing that remains terrifyingly obvious is that the intelligence agencies worldwide have been legally or illegally, officially or unofficially, experimenting on humans to get some answers. One of the most sadistic and horrific units was Unit 731. Please, we advise you to click away if you have a weak heart or stomach. So without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Unit 731, also known as Kamo Detachment, and the Ishi Unit, was a covert Imperial Japanese Army Biological and Chemical Warfare Research and Development Unit that engaged engaged in lethal human experimentation and biological weapons manufacturing during the Second Sino-Japanese War from 1937 to 1945 and World War II. It is estimated that the unit killed between 200,000 and 300,000 people. Its headquarters were in Harbin's Pingfang District, the largest city in the Japanese puppet state of Manchukuo, now Northeast China, and it maintained active branch offices throughout China and Southeast Asia. Unit 731 was responsible for some of the Japanese military's most heinous war crimes. It routinely tested dehumanized people and referred to them internally as logs. The experiments included disease injections, controlled dehydration, biological weapons testing, vivisection, amputation, and standard weapons testing. Victims included not only kidnapped men, women, including pregnant women, children, and babies born due to systemic rape committed by the compound staff. The victims were of various nationalities, with China accounting for the vast majority and Russia accounting for a sizable minority. Japan began its biological weapons program in the 1930s, partly because biological weapons were prohibited by the Geneva Convention of 1925. They reasoned that the prohibition proved the weapons' effectiveness. Japan occupied Manchuria in 1931 following the Japanese invasion of Manchuria. Japan chose Manchuria as the location for Unit 731 because the occupation not only provided the Japanese with the advantage of separating the research station from their island, but also gave them access to as many Chinese individuals as they desired for use as human experimental subjects. They saw the Chinese as free research subjects and hoped to take advantage of this advantage to lead the world in biological warfare. Surgeon General Shir Ishii, the Imperial Japanese Army's chief medical officer and a protege of Army Minister Sadeo Ariki, took command of the Army Epidemic Prevention Research Laboratory in 1932. In Manchuria, Ishii formed a secret research group called the TG Unit to conduct chemical and biological experiments. After a two-year study trip abroad, Ishii proposed the establishment of a Japanese biological and chemical research unit in 1930, citing the fact that the Western powers were developing their own programs. Unit Togo was established in the Zongma Fortress, a prison and experimentation camp in Vayenhi, a village on the South Manchuria Railway. 100 kilometers south of Harbin. Common criminals captured bandits, anti-Japanese partisans, political prisoners, and people rounded up on fabricated charges were among those brought to Zongma to maintain normal health at the start of the experiments. Prisoners were fed a diet of rice or wheat, meat, fish, and occasionally even alcohol. The prisoners were then drained of blood and denied nutrients and water over the course of several days. Their declining health was documented. Some of them were also vivisected. Others were infected with plague bacteria and other microbes on purpose. Emperor Hirohito issued a decree in 1936 authorizing the unit's expansion and integration into the Kwantung Army as the Epidemic Prevention Department. It was divided into the Ishii Unit and the Wakamatsu Unit at the time, with a base in the Singking since August 1940. The units have been referred to collectively as the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department of the Kwantung Army, or Unit 731. Prince Mikasa 
his younger brother, visited the Unit 731 headquarters in China and wrote in his memoir about how Chinese prisoners were made to march on the plains of Manchuria for poison gas experiments on humans. The decree also called for establishing an additional biological warfare development unit. The Kwantung Army Military Horse Epidemic Prevention Workshop later renamed Manchuria Unit 100 and a Chemical Warfare Development Unit. The Kwantung Army Technical Testing Department Following the Japanese invasion of China in 1937, sister chemical and biological warfare units, known as epidemic prevention and water supply units, were established in major Chinese cities. Unit 1855 in Beijing, Unit EI-1644 in Nanjing, Unit 8604 in Guangzhou, and later Unit 9420 in Singapore were among the detachments. Humans were used in experiments as part of a special project codenamed Maruta. Test subjects were recruited from the surrounding population and euphemistically referred to as logs, as in how many logs fell. This term arose as the staff joke because the official cover story for the facility given to the local authorities was that it was a lumber mill. The project, however, was internally known as Hulk Slots, German for log, according to a junior uninformed civilian employee of the Imperial Japanese Army working in Unit 731. In another parallel, the corpses of sacrificed subjects were incinerated. Unit 731 researchers also published some of their findings in peer-reviewed journals, writing as if the research had been conducted on non-human primates known as Manchurian monkeys or long-tailed monkeys. According to Sheldon H. Harris, an American historian, to obtain specimens of specific body organs, the Togo unit used gruesome tactics if Ishii or one of his colleagues wanted to conduct research on the human brain. They would go direct the guards to locate a suitable sample. A prisoner's cell would be entered. Guards would hold him while another guard used an axe to sever the victim's head. His brain would be extracted and taken to a pathologist before being disposed of at the crematorium. Thousands of men, women, children, and infants were subjected to vivisection, frequently performed without anesthesia and usually fatal. Okawa Fukumatsu, a former Unit 731 member, admitted to vivisecting a pregnant woman in a video interview. After infecting prisoners with various diseases, vivisections were performed on them in order to study the effects of the disease on the human body. Researchers performed invasive surgery on prisoners, removing organs. In order to study blood loss, prisoners had their limbs amputated. Limbs were sometimes reattached to the victim's bodies on the opposite side. Some inmates had their stomachs removed surgically and their esophagus reattached to their intestines. Organs were removed from others, including the brain, lungs, and liver. According to Imperial Japanese Army Surgeon Ken Yuasa, vivisection on human subjects was widespread even outside Unit 731, with at least 1,000 Japanese personnel involved in the practice in mainland China. Throughout World War II, Unit 731 and its affiliated units were involved in the research, development, and experimental deployment of epidemic-creating biowarfare weapons and assaults against the Chinese populace. In 1940 and 1941, plague-infested fleas bred in the laboratories of Unit 731 and 1644 were spread by low-flying airplanes over Chinese cities, including coastal Ningbo and Changde, Hunan province. With bubonic plague epidemics, these operations killed tens of thousands. An expedition to Nanjing included dispersing typhoid and paratyphoid germs into the city's wells, marshes, and homes, and infusing them in snacks distributed to locals. At least 12 large-scale bioweapon field trials were conducted, and biological agents were used to attack at least 11 Chinese cities. An attack on Changde in 1941 was said to have resulted in 10,000 biological casualties and 1,700 deaths among ill-prepared Japanese troops, most of whom died of cholera. Japanese researchers conducted experiments on inmates infected with bubonic plague, cholera, smallpox, botulism, and other diseases. The research resulted in the creation of the defoliation bacilli bomb and the flea bomb, both of which were used to spread bubonic plague. Some of these bombs were made with porcelain shells, which Ishii proposed in 1938. Human targets were used to test grenades positioned at different distances and positions. People were subjected to flamethrower tests. Victims were also tied to the stake and used as test subjects for pathogen-releasing bombs, chemical weapons, shrapnel bombs, and varying amounts 
mouths of fragments, explosive bombs, bayonets, and knives. Subjects were deprived of food and water to determine the length of time until death, placed in low-pressure chambers until their eyes popped out of their sockets, experimented on to determine the relationship between temperature, burns, and human survival, hung upside down until death, crushed with heavy objects, electrocuted, dehydrated with hot fans, and injected with animal blood, most notably horse blood. As a correctional officer testified on the subject of devising a method for transmission of syphilis between the patients, unit members orchestrated forced sex acts between infected and non-infected prisoners to transmit the disease. Infection of venereal disease by injection was discontinued, and the researchers began forcing the prisoners to engage in sexual acts with one another. The tests were handled by four or five unit members dressed in white laboratory clothing that completely covered the body, with only the eyes and mouth visible, and the rest covered. A male and female infected with syphilis would be locked in a cell and forced to have sex with each other. It was made abundantly clear that anyone who resisted would be shot. In 2002, Shangde, China, the site of the plague flea bombing hosted an international symposium on the crimes of bacteriological warfare, which estimated that Imperial Japan's army's germ warfare and other human experiments killed around 580,000 people. According to American historian Sheldon H. Harris, over 200,000 people died. Thank you for stopping by to watch. Please subscribe to the channel and post your video recommendations in the comment area if you want us to do more films like this.